The price of a precious stone is directly proportional to the square of its weight. Sita has a precious stone weighing, weighing 18 units. If she breaks it into four pieces with each piece having distinct integer weight, then the difference between the highest and least possible values of total price of the four pieces. Nice. I can straight away sense, I don't know what is highest, what is lowest. I know if 18 breaks into three small pieces and one monster, that will be one extreme. 18, oopsie. 18 breaking into three nearly same pieces. So I'll put it as one, two, three, and the remaining. Initially, I put one, one, one because I didn't see this distinct integer weight. So to, don't make those mistakes. I told myself I'll not do this mistake in the exam. And but when I was solving for fun, I made that mistake. So be careful, don't lose out on that. One, two, three, add up to six. This should be 12. Here all four should be almost equal. 18 by four is four and a half. Four, five, three, four, five, six works. Nice. So 18 square. Then the difference between the highest and lowest possible values of the total price of the four pieces will be 288000. Then the price of the original precious stone. So square this. One square plus four, two square, nine, 144. This is one number. This into x. This 9, 16, 25, 36 times some x. 1 plus 4, 5, 14. This is 158 x minus 25 plus 25 is 50, 86 x. 14 plus 58 is 72 x. So now we have got 72x is 288k, what will be 324x? This is 18 square. 72 into 4 is 288. So 324 into 4 is what we are looking at. So 648 into 2, 324 into 4. So 96, 1296 k. 1296,000. So 96,000, 12,96,000 or 1,296,000 is the number we are looking for. And so one combination will be three small pieces and a giant. Another combination will be all four pieces close to each other in weight. Plonk one in, plonk the other in and then simplify after that.